Let's consider solids in trigonometry. Let's find x in this right angle triangle. To find any side on a right angle triangle without considering the internal angles, we apply Pythagoras theorem. This theorem states that we have to identify the longest side of the right angle. The longest side of the right angle is the side that is facing the right angle. And here it is x. Next, we are going to square the value of that longest side. Next, we are going to square the both remaining side and sum the both of them. That is, here we are going to have 2 squared. And here we are going to have 4 squared. And we are going to add the both remaining sides. We have applied Pythagoras theorem to enable us to find x. Next, this is x squared. 2 squared is 4 plus 4 squared is 16. Next, we are going to have x squared is 20. This is x squared, but we are looking for x. On the other side, we have 20. When this square moves across, it becomes the square root of 20. Next, what are the factors of 20? Here, we are going to draw a line and write 20. We will start with 2. 2 into 20 is 10. 2 can go into 10, 5. 2 cannot go into 5 without a remainder. 3 cannot go without a remainder. 4 cannot go without a remainder. But 5 can go into 5, 1. Once we get 1, we stop. Next, we are going to pay. 2 got a pay. And here, we are going to write this 2 out because 2 here is free. However, this 5 got no pay. We are going to put this 5 inside the square root. That means the square root of 20 is the same thing as 2 root 5. Hence, our x becomes 2 the square root of 5. This length is in meters and this length is in meters. This will be in meters. And we have found the value of our x in sword form. We applied Pythagoras theorem because the internal angles are not our consign. 